Good morning and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Wednesday, April 27th, and I'm Noah Kaufman. Elon Musk has had an issue with Twitter and has found a way to solve it. According to the New York Times, Musk is planning to buy Twitter for $44 billion after originally buying only a 9% stake earlier this month. Musk says he wants to allow more free speech and he will make the public company private, meaning he will have no advisory panel or stockholders to answer to. Musk says he will improve the Twitter algorithm, find a way to eliminate spam bots, add an edit button, and possibly charge a subscription fee. But critics are worried that Musk, whose tweets are often controversial and directed at rivals, may do very little to discourage disinformation. As the deal was just announced on Monday, there's, there's lots of speculation about where Musk may take the social media platform. And now, here's Nate Shoemaker with sports. The NBA playoffs are one week in and only one series has ended. According to ESPN, the Boston Celtics swept the Brooklyn Nets in a series that was expected to go seven games. The Bucks will look to close out the Bulls tonight, and if they can, they will play the Celtics in the second round. The injury to Devin Booker for the Phoenix Suns, who were the favorite to win it all, now dropped down, and now the favorite teams are the Warriors and the Celtics. The Warriors are leading their series 3-1, to one, led by Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Jordan Poole. There are still so many more series to be decided as we climb closer and closer to the NBA Finals. A Massachusetts couple has won $5 million from a country club. According to the Today Show, there have been 651 golf balls that have hit the property, striking windows, denting, siding, and shattering glasses. So the family filed a report to the Kingston Police Department. The family says the house was supposed to have a golf course view and not be a golf course playing property, or else they would have bought it, never bought it. Now the tee box on hole 15 has been moved back, encouraging people to play this hole with simpler shots. That's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember, remember to find announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Nate Shoemaker. Today is a D-Day. Have a good day.